gentlemen, we are now landing into Riyadh. We're starting our descent toward our final destination, Riyadh, the capital of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We'd flown from Tel Aviv to Dubai. From above ground, the horizon blends the sky and the desert. A last bump on the tarmac. There we are, with the elusive feeling that we're the first Israelis landing on the moon. But only an illusion, a desert mirage, of course. We just landed at Riyadh's King Khalid International Airport. Everything went very smoothly. We had an electronic visa that was delivered uh, on our email, on our foreign passport. But our foreign passport indicates that we live in Israel, our phone number is Israelis, we're journalists for I-24 News, and I-24 News is coming through. At midday, Riyadh looks like a ghost town. We assume it's because of the scorching heat, 113 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade. The nudged desert plateau offers no natural rampart to the stifling wind and dust. Not a soul in the streets, no traffic in this megalopolis of 8 million inhabitants. All government offices are closed. The Riyadis have extended their vacation after Eid al-Adha, the Feast of the Sacrifice, and the end of the Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca. The only people out are the foreign workers. I'm from India, Bombay. Bombay? Yeah. And this two gentlemen? From Bangladesh. We've headed towards the city center. The Al Masmak Fortress, a symbol of the unification of Saudi Arabia under King Abdulaziz al Saud. 120 years ago, the future king dislodged the head of the rival clan in Riyadh. Al Masmak has become a symbol of the bravery of the founding father of the Saudi kingdom. 30 years later, in 1932, the king managed to unify Saudi Arabia with all its provinces under his rule. So this is King Abdul Aziz. He's the uniter. He's the one who has united the tribes here in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the beginning, around 85 years back. This is his son, King Salman. And this is King Salman's son, the crown prince, King uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Is it really a great hope that the crown prince is young? Yes, is... sir. Look at me. I've been in the hospitality since only 2017. Now, uh, now I am a department head. This is all because of the management programs that they are providing. Look at Halima now. Uh -huh. Look at the diversity we are having now. Near the fortress turned museum are the legal and religious seats of the Wahhabi Sunni Islamist power which joined forces with the king. Riyadh's National Mosque, the High Court of Justice and its infamous clock tower, also known here as Chop Chop Square, a reference to the capital punishment that takes place here in front of the public. For example, yes. This one man, this is cigarette. This yes. man shoot this man. Look at this man death. This man, Gasa. Yes. Yeah. All the people, uh, look at a knife. Yes. Kabir knife. Gross. This is the Muslim process, you know? The Muslim law. Yeah. Sharia. A strikingly different scenery awaits us at the Panorama Mall in downtown Riyadh, with its profuse display of American brands next to Saudi shops. Here, we see Saudi women at work dressed in full abaya cloak and niqab face cover. How many cinema halls there are? Uh, 65. 65 cinema theaters that have opened in Riyadh after a break of something like 35 years. And that's due to the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who is trying to rejuvenate the kingdom. At the hotel, we are greeted by Yahya, who serves his guests with a traditional cup of Saudi coffee, a yellow brew spiced with saffron and cardamom. Welcome, sir. Welcome to Hadr Agency. Thank you. Uh, hospitality is in our DNA just by being Saudis. Since the beginning, since the Bedouins' time, there is no better nationality to work in the hospitality industry like the Saudis. And you're going to see this very, very, very soon. We're still in the building uh, process, but very soon you're going to see something that will amaze the, the whole world. The call for the noon prayer resounds over Riyadh. Near the Kingdom Center Tower in the Al-Uliya Financial District, 
we've requested permission to visit the Jama Al Maidan Mosque. We're invited to join in. It's hard to believe we're here. Pierre Kloschendler, I24 News, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia.